In this video, we will be installing VMware's ESXi version 8. So either mount or insert the CD or DVD contain the hypervisor installation media into your server. And once that's done, this installation window will appear and it will start to load various components into memory. Once that's done, the wizard will appear. It will welcome us to the installer. We'll continue through the installer. We'll press F11 to continue. The installer will then scan for storage devices to install ESXi onto. We're going to select here our small 16 gigabyte drive and our keyboard layout. We're then going to specify a root password, which we must not forget. And enter it into the confirmation box and then verify that we definitely want to install ESXi onto that drive. We're going to fast forward the installation process here. Now it's complete, we remove the installation media and reboot the server by pressing enter. With the server now rebooting, ESXi is now installed onto the specified disk during the installation wizard and it's start and it starts up all the relevant services for the ESXi hypervisor. When that's complete, we log in by pressing F2 with the password that we specified during the installation. And now we have some options. We're going to configure the management network here. We're going to ensure that the relevant network adapters for our management network are selected. And we're going to specify the VLAN if required, and then enter our static IPv4 network address, subnet mask, and default gateway. We can, of course, use DHCP if required. In the lab, I'm going to disable IPv6 because it's unnecessary, but I am going to specify our primary DNS server for the lab. We don't have an alternate here, so I'm just going to remove that, and we'll specify the host name that we're going to provide for this ESXi server, ensuring that the AM pointer records are installed into our DNS server. We'll also enter our custom DNS suffix, DNS suffix for good measure. Okay, with that done, we're gonna to escape to exit, and we're gonna press Y here to reboot the host. A reboot is required because we have disabled IPv6. Once the host has restarted, we should be able to connect to it via its fully qualified domain name on a web browser, logging in with our root username and the password once again that we specified during the installation. Okay, now that we've logged in, we've accessed the ESXi host client and we can see the UI here for this ESXi host is fairly traditional, looks very similar to what we would be used to in previous versions of ESXi. We've got our menu on the left, so we can look through some of the sections here. We've got our manage options, We've got our monitor options with all of our performance charts. Virtual machines, of course, we have none at the moment, and storage, we have none, so we can go ahead and create some here, just using the remainder of the local drive on this server. Okay, and we'll just wait for that to finish. Here we go, so now we have a data store on this host with no VMs running at this time. 